Hello, my name is Rhonda from Comprehensive Grant Management, and today we're going to be discussing one of the key residential and health hazards HUD is seeking to address under the Housing Related Hazards and Lead Based Paint Capital Fund Program. The purpose of the Housing Related Hazards and Lead Based Paint Capital Fund Program grant is to evaluate and reduce residential health hazards in public housing, including lead based paint carbon monoxide, mold, radon, and asbestos. And today we're going to be discussing asbestos. Asbestos is material fiber that has been used commonly in a variety of building construction materials and household products for installation and as a fire retardant. The Environmental Protection Agency, the EAP, and the Consumer Product Safety Commission has banned most asbestos products. Manufacturers have also voluntarily limited the use of asbestos. Today, asbestos is most commonly found in older homes in pipes and furnace insulation materials. Asbestos shingles, Melbourne, textured paints, and other coating materials, and floor tiles. Elevated concentrations of airborne asbestos can occur when asbestos-containing materials, ACMs, are distributed by cutting, sanding, and other remodeling activities. Improper attempts to remove these materials can release asbestos fibers into the air in homes, increasing asbestos levels and endangering the people living in those homes. The most dangerous asbestos fibers are too small to be visible. After they are inhaled, they can remain and accumulate in the lungs. Asbestos can cause lung cancer and irreversible lung scarring, which can be fatal. Repair is usually cheaper than removal, but it may take later removal of asbestos more difficult and costly. Repair should be done only by trained professionals certified to handle asbestos safely and can cost from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars. Removal can be more expensive. So there you have it. One of the key residential health and safety hazards, asbestos, that HUD is seeking to address by this grant opportunity. If you would like to learn more about comprehensive grants management, grant writing services, please visit our website at www.comprehensivegrants.com or email me, Rhonda, R-H-O-N-D-A, at comprehensivegrants.com. Thank you for your time and continued success in serving your communities.